Have you ever wondered how countries got their names? Or what those names actually mean? In this series, you get to find all of that out. So join me as we uncover 7 more countries and their etymologies. Our first stop today is in Papua New Guinea, the most diverse country on the planet. And I'm not even kidding, there are 851 known languages spoken here, which represents 12% of the world's total. There are several theories as to what Papua means. One possibility is that it's an amalgam of Papo, meaning to unite, and Ua, which is a negation suffix, thus Papua means not united, as opposed to the nearby Spice Islands, which were united under the Sultanate of Tidor. Or it may come from the Malay language, where Pepua means curly-haired, a feature that's definitely present in this country. There's a third theory that says that Papua comes from the Biak language. In it, the phrase Sup i Papua means the land below the sunset. Whatever the case, Papua became associated with this area long before Europeans started exploring it. As to the New Guinea part, this was the term that became widely used by Westerners starting with Inigo Ortiz de Retes, who in 1545 called the island as such because of the similarities of the indigenous people's appearance with the natives of the Guinea region of Africa. The word Guinea itself, or Guinea, is a word borrowed by the Portuguese from Berbers. Guinawan means the burnt people, a reference to the color of their skin. Now that we got that sorted out, it's time to head out to our next destination, the South American country of Paraguay. Unfortunately, we don't really know what it actually means. I mean, we have some educated guesses, but that's about it. Unsurprisingly, those European explorers didn't seem to pay a lot of attention to the natives' cultures. One of the most common explanations is that it means the river of Payagua. The Payagua were a river tribe living, hunting, fishing and raiding on the Paraguay River. The Guarani, their enemies, gave them this name and apparently told the Spanish that the river nearby is called Payaguay or River of Payaguas. But keep in mind that this is all conjecture. By the way, the Guarani also had the words para and guay, one meaning river and the other crown. It's unlikely we'll find out the real explanation anytime soon. Another South American nation with an obscure name is Peru. We think the name may derive from Biru, the name of a local ruler from the 16th century. When Spanish explorers found his realm, it was the southernmost part of the new world yet discovered, so everything south of it came to be named as Biru or Peru. Another possibility is that a Quechua word, Pelu, meaning river, is the source of this word. In other words, we don't really know. Okay, so what about the Philippines? Do we know what this word means? Yes, we do. It means the land of Philip. The islands of Leyte and Samar were named Filipinas to honor the future king Philip II of Spain. This happened in 1543, and later the entire archipelago took on the name Las Islas Filipinas, the Philippine Islands. As to the actual word Philip, this is of Greek origin. It's a compound of the words philos, which means loved or loving, and hippos, meaning horse. Philippos thus means horse loving, as in someone who is fond of horses. Poland is one of the most important and known European countries. Their name derives from the Polans, one of the largest Slavic tribes of Central Europe from the 8th century. They united several tribes that put them on the path to creating their first kingdom, which came to be known by their name, Poland. Or more accurately, Polska or Polonia in Latin. Poland is a Germanic transcription with the meaning of land of Polans. Poland itself is of Slavic origin from the word pole or polie, which means open field. The Proto-Indo-European root is ple, from which words like flat or plain come from. Hidden away in the southwestern corner of Europe lies the country of Portugal. Their name is a Roman Celtic amalgam, Portus Cale. Portus Cale was an ancient port inhabited by the Celtic tribe of Caleci, also known by the Romans as Galeci, the source of the modern term Galicia. Cale or Kiliach was the name of a Celtic god, but it also means port in Celtic, 
So Portus Cale actually means the port of the port. Eventually, this Roman Celtic amalgam was adopted to designate a much wider area and gradually turned into Portucale by the 7th century and by the 9th century it became Portugale. By the way, the Latin half, Portus, is of Proto-Indo-European origins, from Pertus, meaning crossing. Before we sign off, we go and visit Qatar, a small but incredibly rich country. It was Pliny the Elder, a Roman writer who documented the first account of the inhabitants of this small peninsula. He referred to them as the Catare, which in the Roman world later gave the name to the entire peninsula, Catara. Those old maps of the time also referenced a town named Kadara, which could be a possible source. On the other hand, the Arabic root Qatar can be traced to the word Katran, which means star or resin, a possible reference to the hugely rich oil fields of the country. And that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Tell me what you think about it downstairs and do hit that subscribe button if you want to see more episodes. If you really enjoyed this, there's a Patreon page where you can support my work. I hope to see you next time. Bye.